We're, we're here at the IS meeting with Latoya Small, who is with uh, the UNC Chapel Hill, uh, and you are working on, a, well, you've received a cipher, a cipher grant. Yes. So tell us about that, first of all. Well, the cipher grant really helps a lot of young junior um, researchers kind of develop or spend two years working on um, a research study that they've designed. And mm -hmm. it's one, it helps us like newer faculty or newer researchers find a platform to do research that we think is interesting and can be impactful in terms of HIV research. But it also kind of creates a space for maybe some new ideas and a different lens of looking at how we can address HIV prevention and treatment. So it's pretty, it's pretty exciting. Tell us about your specific grant that you got. So my specific grant is called Buka Ikaya, and it's a take-home family intervention, and we're aimed at reducing behavioral risk and improving adherence for perinatally infected children. And so my study is based here in Durban, where I work with the South African Medical Research Council, and we're based in um, some of the local HIV clinics. And what we're trying to do is find ways that we can have caregivers talk to their children about H being HIV positive. And so we have 10 uh, topics, and we're trying to find a way to condense them down. Um, and these are topics that have been identified by you know, medical service providers, caregivers, you know, children with HIV, in terms of what do they face, or what are some challenges. So through a cartoon, caregivers and their children will look at, um, will we'll follow this young boy through his story of being an HIV positive young person, and um, hopefully they'll identify with some of the issues he faces, or he faces, and through group work, they'll kind of come to ways of, of kind of maybe dealing with some of their own issues. And the, the, one of the key pieces here is that they can do this at home with their families. Gotcha. Yeah. So uh, who is in charge of this study in each group? Is there like a counselor or is there a... Right. So the, it's primarily the, the hospital part is that it's led by counselors who are already employed in the hospitals that are familiar with the families. Right. Um, but what we're also hoping is that through this, the family will come to the hospital uh, three times and have groups, but they'll also be guided by the counselor and some of our own VUGA staff members in terms of well, how can they use this cartoon at home? So how can they, um, or how can these caregivers kind of talk to the cartoons and bring it into the home? Because not only does it give the caregiver and child like more time to, to bond and like um, engage with one another, it also gives it more, it also gives other family members who don't come to the clinics more opportunities to learn about HIV and understand maybe what that child is going through. So what do you really hope to get out of this? We're hoping to do a few things. One is we're really hoping to address and improve adherence for children. Um, we're helping to help them build tools that they can take with them as they move throughout adolescence with HIV. We're hoping to um, some of those tools we're hoping will decrease uh, risk in sexual, decrease sexual risk. We're hoping some of those tools will decrease uh, the risk of substance abuse. And we're also hoping to give it, um, well, to give more people in the community access to HIV, you know, information and to this cartoon. Empowerment and sense of Empower words. Exactly. We're empowering families to really kind of ma manage this manage this, this, this condition in the home. And we're empowering families to share knowledge and we're building knowledge in communities because we want it to be accessible and sustainable. What are the ages of these? Youth? The ages of the youth are 9 to 14. So we're really trying to catch them right, right in that. Before. Right. sexual activity. Right, right for the stride of adolescence. So when they enter it, they have a tool in their pocket in terms of, you know, that'll help them make some good decisions, we're hoping. And they're all, uh, they're all on treatment? They're all on treatment. They're all aware of their diagnosis. Yep. And we're, we're connecting to them through the HIV clinics that they're using. Do they understand that, that treatment is prevention? So they are in a sense... We're, we're trying to. You know, the hospitals are really, you know, there's a lot of burden, there's a lot of clients, there's a lot of need, so there's not always time for each counselor to give everyone the time that they might want. Because, I mean, it's, it's a lot of, um, there are a lot of expectations and there's a lot of pressure. So hopefully this is one of those avenues. How do you feel about this project? Are you excited? I or am it, beyond excited. Yeah. I even, yeah, I am beyond excited. I've been walking around showing people, look, look at my cartoon. Look at my cartoon. I just feel like this is really, this has a lot of potential to be really helpful to some children and their families. So, uh, what would your next steps be beyond this project? Well, my next steps are, um, I also look at HIV positive um, African American women back in the States. 
So I'm trying to find ways to help them increase or to, to help improve their mental health. Um, but it's also really um, extremely difficult to look at a mother without the child and look at a child without the mother. So I think it's, you know, I need to really think about ideas of how we can help that diet, like the mother and child relationship when HIV um, impacts the family. I did the same thing. We're looking at women, well actually we're talking about doing women, but I said, you know, we really need to be looking at families yeah. with school age kids. Mm -hmm. There's the area, but we're looking at differently at chronic disease, yeah. which is a little bit different. But, well, HIV is, you know, now. Well, is a chronic, you know, and, and sometimes it's it's almost better to think about that. Yeah. Because if you present it just as HIV, as though this is odd thing off here, mm -hmm. it's a chronic disease. We like to normalize it. Yeah. But we also like to exceptionalize it in some ways mm -hmm. to make sure that people realize that it's exceptional because it's spread through sex and, and uh, other other forms. Yeah. But it's, it's important to consider those things. Absolutely, absolutely. I very much appreciate you taking the time with me. Thank it's you, I'm joy. honored. Yeah, and I hope that uh, the work you do is gonna prove out really great uh, results. Yeah, we'll keep working at it, we'll, okay. keep, we'll keep tweaking. Thank you. Thank you.